At least nine people, including a police officer, have been killed and several others injured in suspected terror attacks in India's northern state of Punjab. Police say a group of five men dressed in army uniforms fired at a bus and stormed a police station in the Gurdaspur district close to the border with Pakistan. Army commandos have launched an operation against assailants who are reportedly holed up in police barracks. A senior officer says attackers are believed to have come from Indian-controlled Kashmir, but according to the Indian Intelligence Agency, they have come from Pakistan. Separately, police have also discovered several bombs on a railway track in the area. The train services in that area have been suspended. To get the latest on that, we're now joined by Manawar Zaman, Press TV's correspondent, who is joining us now on the line from New Delhi. Manawar, what more details do we have about this? Well, the car at the moment, we don't have any such updates that it clarify exactly is responsible for this attack. But mostly in the parliament session today, there was a great uproar. Every single politician was shouting and asking for answers. And what they believe, it is one of the biggest intelligence failure, which the opposition party blamed the government. But at the moment, at least nine people are dead, and among them is a senior superintendent of police. And if this incident uh, happened exactly at 5.30 a.m. in the morning uh, when five uh, gunmen attacked a moving bus, then stormed the nearby police station uh, in, in, a, in, a, in a town of uh, uh, Dinanagar. It's a small village exactly in the town of Gurdaspur, which is bordering Pakistan on uh, most of the three or four sites. I mean, it's a very small place. Well, they say now there are so many sources saying a lot of things, but at the moment we are not clear what exactly happened because in the past we see the moment in Punjab, which uh, was a Sikh moment. They were demanding a separate homeland, which they call Khalistan. But we're not sure yet. We cannot blame anything. Even the parliamentary affairs minister has come up with a statement that we're not certain yet what exactly this incident is and who is responsible for it. But largely, it is, it is largely blamed on Pakistan, and many of the politicians here say that it is certainly something which is coming from the cross-border, and they, are, uh, they have just said that they are going to give a decision response if neighbors are against the civil war. And what they said, the said that they want peace in Pakistan. There is uncertainty because the accounts are so far. Okay, Manor, thanks very much for keeping us up to date. That was Manor Zaman, who was speaking to us live from New Delhi.